Just as I entered. Have you ever heard a voice that sounds like an old friend? Takes you right back to the kitchen. You can almost smell the cake that your grandma made on your birthday. Have you ever laid on your back under a poplar tree? Thinking about all your memories. Looking at the sky. Wondering why this feels like home. Like a Tennessee River in the morning takes your breath without a warning. Feels like home. Like smoke oh, rising yeah. up from the mountains, <laughs> all the beauty surrounds me. Like <laughs> oh, that's the smoke. Like Elvis and Dolly yeah. singing Not. a melody <laughs> that's bringing you home. Cause it feels oh. like home. It feels like home. I honestly can't believe how quickly time just flies. Little Annika here is now one month old and we've been home together for almost five weeks. And it's just like so amazing looking at her, how much she's grown from those like first videos that we took on her first days when I be like, it was just yesterday. getting a bit hungry here so I probably have to take a quick break but Annika was born much smaller than she was supposed to so we were initially worried about her growth but she has grown so much now, going from almost 3 kilos and 49 centimeters at birth to 3.7 kilos at a three-week checkup and almost 57 centimeters when I measured her a couple of days ago. It's good to know we're doing something right with her care when it comes to feeding. My milk wasn't getting up properly right after her birth, so we needed to start giving her formula too, to make sure she got enough to eat. She is one hungry kid. But now I have started lactating more, so we are slowly weaning her off the formula, since she is growing so well. <laughs> We're still giving it to her a couple of times a day, though for the last couple of weeks she basically spends all her day hours on my chest, feeding or sleeping. She won't stay calm otherwise, as she's probably going through cluster feeding stage and a developmental leap. Oh. Annika is otherwise very less fussy and doesn't cry much, but she's had a few issues that make her give these hard and ear-piercing cries that almost make me cry too. She had a lot of stomach issues in the first two weeks. She was burping a lot and being very gassy, but our pediatrician gave us some colic drops and she's been so much better since. She's a real mommy's huggy bear. Annika's first day out. It's so amazing to also see Annika's own personality starting to shine through. She is so expressive and smiles a lot, but also very assertive and a great thinker. <laughs> Why are you so yellow like a beetle? Mm. She's active and strong, which was clear already when she was still in my tummy.
she likes mommy singing, tummy time with anyone, and car rides and strollers, where she is guaranteed to have a good sleep. She does not like bathing at all. She's just now developed this new cry that's clearly her telling us she is the boss and she's not afraid to use this cry. It's difficult to say about Annika's colors. We should only see those after several months. Right now her eyes look dark green or maybe gray, but I did initially say that they might have been blue. And her hair is brown, not black. But she's having her baby hair loss, so we're excited to see what will grow back. <laughs> We were worried if Annika would be able to sleep at our house with the jackals all around us. But she's a great sleeper, just like her mummy. Doesn't even flinch when the jackals howl. At first she slept in the bed with me and Vinod, even though I never wanted a family bed. But this calmed her down really well, and I wanted Annika right next to me. After two weeks, we moved her to her own crib, next to my bedside, and she really likes this too. A few first nights when we got home were a bit restless, but she's been happy sleeping everywhere once she started eating enough. For the last couple of weeks, she's even sleeping up to 8 hours without a wake-up. We have a real good bedtime routine for her. Starting with a massage and a bath, I then change her diaper and sing or read a story to her. I then feed her for a couple of hours and finish off with a big bottle of formula. Then I swaddle her and walk around the room rocking and shushing her until she falls asleep. This must be my favorite time of the day and I really hope it's hers too. We wouldn't have survived all these months without the help of mommy and daddy. So much so that they deserve a whole video of their own. They've taken care of the house, taken care of me, and now they are also taking care of little Annika too. They are always ready to step in if I need help. Right after my C-section, when I needed a lot of rest, mommy would take the charge to guard Annika while she was taking her nap. And the rest of the time, they just keep showering Annika with all their love and happiness. And of course, being her Hindi teachers too. Annika. This <laughs> video <laughs> is Hey, hey, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs>
I think I speak for Vinod and I both when I say this has been the happiest month of our lives. We are both so in love with our little baby girl, and she has made our house a true home. Life hasn't changed that much, though my days are pretty much just about feeding and taking care of Annika, and not so much about work. But parenting comes pretty naturally to both of us. Maybe because our age, and how well we had read and prepared for this faith. We don't believe that we need to give up on our so-called old life and adventures. Mm -hmm. Now we just have little Annika to take with us to see all the wonders in the world. Thank you.